Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today, I just received the Lenovo P2 from GearBest. Now, I've always been an iPhone guy, but I've been wanting to switch to Android and they were kind enough to send this over. Not top of the line, but it is an unlocked GSM phone for 213 bucks. Compared to the phone I've been using for the last two years, which is the iPhone 6S, this Lenovo P2 blows it out of the water and you can't beat the price. 213 to $215, depending on the color you get. Let's go over the specs real quick. For the CPU, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625, eight cores at two gigahertz. I recently did a video on the Lenovo P8 tablet. This thing's gonna perform very similarly. It has the same exact CPU, but we do have four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of onboard storage, along with a micro SD card slot. You could throw a 128 gigabyte SD card in there. Screen is a huge 5.5 inch, AMOLED display, or AMOLED, however you want to pronounce it, at 1920 by 1080, it looks super crisp. I know it's not a flagship resolution, but 1920 by 1080 on a 5.5 inch phone looks great. The battery is a 5100 milliamp hour with Qualcomm Quick Charge. It does come with a quick charger in the box. For Wi-Fi, we have 802.11 BGN and AC, Bluetooth 4.1, and a fingerprint sensor right on the front. It works really good. I've been wanting to upgrade my phone for a long time. Now I see this as a mid-range Android phone and it does everything that an $800 phone will. It might not do it as fast, it might not have camera stabilization, but it'll definitely get you by and you're gonna spend a lot less money. As for network compatibility, I'm gonna list the bands on screen now. Now these are what are listed on GearBest website. I use T-Mobile and it works perfectly with T-Mobile. I get 4G where I am and call quality is crystal clear. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I did a review on a Lenovo tablet called the P8. It has the same exact CPU and GPU. It has one gig less of RAM, but it performs exactly the same. I'm gonna leave links in the description so you can go check that out. I did some emulation tests and some native Android apps running on that tablet. They're gonna run the same. This is gonna have way better battery life. It's got a smaller screen than the tablet and a bigger battery. I did run some benchmarks. First up, we have Geekbench 4. For the single core score, we scored an 833. For multi-core, we scored a 2875. Next up, Antutu, 61610. And finally, I ran a 3D mark. For Slingshot Extreme, we scored a 462. For Ice Storm Unlimited, we scored a 13,913. This is on par with that tablet I just did a review on. I did take a few sample pictures here. This is uh, Yoshi in good light. I'm using a studio light pointed on here. And now we just have my regular ceiling light on. So this is a low light picture. It's a 13 megapixel camera on the back and an eight megapixel on the front. It's nothing to write home about, but it does take decent pictures as long as you have sufficient lighting. One of my favorite things about this phone is running emulators on here. It runs N64 pretty much perfectly if you're using Moopin 64 FZ and it's small enough to fit into a controller cradle. As you can see here, I have the GameSir G3S controller. Comes with the adapter, so you can place your phone right in it. So far, I'm really liking this phone. I've had it for about three days now, and I've been using it as my main phone. It's worked perfectly. I've had no hiccups with it. The quick charge is a big upgrade if you don't have something that does quick charge. Fingerprint scanner works amazingly. Camera's not half bad as long as you got sufficient light, like I said. As for bloatware, there's only five apps on here that I would never use. Lenovo Corporation app, Sync It, Share It, Theme Center, and a user guide. So it's really not loaded down with bloatware like a lot of these Android phones coming out today. If you're interested in a phone like this, I'm gonna leave links to GearBest down below. You can get the gray one, which I have here for 215 or the gold one for 213. They also have all the specs listed and all the supported network information on their website. I really appreciate you guys watching. Keep an eye out for the full review video coming up in about five days. I really wanna put this phone through its paces. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.